What's going on, everyone? So everyone's favorite ref, uh, Celtics fan, Eric Lewis, is in some hot water right now. Uh, he's a guy with a lot of experience. Uh, been an NBA ref for 19 years now, I believe. Uh, he's ref the NBA Finals the last like three years or three out of the last four years, something like that. Um, he's a guy that has experience, is very well known. Uh, he's usually that guy that if you're not the Celtics, you're like, oh man, Eric Lewis is refing. Uh, this is going to be rough. Um, but Eric Lewis, like I said, is in some very hot water. Uh, as it looks like he had some burner accounts on Twitter. Man, these people got to stay off of Twitter and these burner accounts. It's hilarious. They always end up getting caught up. But apparently, it looks like, and now the NBA is investigating uh, these Twitter account or this specific Twitter account that is linked to Eric Lewis that has some engagement, some interactions, and has really drawn uh, some some hot water for Eric Lewis going forward. But let's get into it. So this Pablo Escobar uh, is the one that like really kind of sparked this whole thing. NBA ref Eric Lewis has been outed as having a burner account, uh, Cutliff Blair. Uh, Lef Mazov. Uh, this is a uh, monumentous day. Uh, the account will surely be deleted soon. So for the archives, the entirety of the account's replies all involve, yep, Eric Lewis. Uh, and this is the account. This is what it looks like. Uh, he was going back and forth with this uh, Sun fan Asher and a couple other people. Uh, there's videos over on Twitter if you want to see the videos. Uh, but yeah, it's just this like nameless, I guess, or profile pictureless uh, account that's just everything in regards to Eric Lewis they're just firing back and talking back it's actually pretty comical um and then you had uh, Pablo respond and scene account has been deleted Eric just own it uh basically telling him like hey look you know we've seen this Kevin Durant for example uh big difference though between an NBA player having a burner account and an NBA ref having a burner account huge differences and uh, this could be the end for Eric Lewis if this turns out to be his account. Now, the reason I say that is a couple things. Again, one, you have the the, the account showing that it's now deleted. Uh, if you go to the account, there won't be anything on there. Everything's been deleted. But it's the internet. And as the internet, it stays forever. So it's not really going anywhere. Um, this is the uh, account that was linked to it, the email. Uh, e. Lewis. MK, uh, date joined May 2018, and then this is the email link that was sent, uh, again, kind of showing that that email was attached to it, created back in 2018, and supposedly, this is what was responded, that it wasn't Eric Lewis, it was his twin brother, no, I don't know if it's twin brother, but apparently it's his brother, uh, Mark Lewis, so Blair, this Blair account, uh, responded Pablo. This is Mark Lewis, right? Family, older brother. Uh, I'm sorry that I put E in this situation, but this ain't Watergate. You're right. The account will be coming down. Twitter should not be uh, this vindictive. Sorry to the inconvenience. Sorry to inconvenience you. Uh, a couple things unpacked. One, the good old, it wasn't me. It was my evil twin brother. <laughs> it was my evil brother, Mark. It wasn't. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, this stuff is so funny to me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it's his older brother, supposedly, that created the account, created the burner account. Why he created a burner account, if it even is him, let's say it is. Why? You're not the one that's Eric. You're not the one that's the ref. You can say what you want to say. It has nothing to do with it. Like, if you want to clap back at people going after your brother, I don't think anyone would bat an eyelash I don't think the NBA would even care right I, as long as there's no like weird you know iffy stuff going on you know where it's like oh watch this watch er watch what Eric does to your team like if he said something like that well then that's a different story I just don't know why you need to create this BS account to go after people and then he talks about I don't know why Twitter should be should uh it should not be this vindictive you created a fake burner account that put your brother in trouble and he's an NBA ref. You don't think that that's big news with like the Tim Donahue stuff and all that? Like, it's so funny when people do stupid things and then try to blame other people for their stupid actions, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Twitter is, Twitter is another universe, right? Twitter is its own thing. 
I, I don't know what it is about Twitter. And so I I am the first one to say, like, Twitter can be very vindictive. Twitter, the Twitter space is just, it's not something you want to be, uh, be on the wrong side of, right? Like, Twitter is that kind of thing. I completely get that. But that's not what this is. This is you being a, a knucklehead and creating some burner account to go after people that are talking about your brother when you could have just done your own account and did the same thing and nobody probably would have cared. I mean, you would have gotten some trolls, you would have gotten people making fun of you and stuff like that, but it wouldn't have been a big deal. And now what you did is you just put your brother in a heap of trouble and potentially could have him lose his career that he's done for the last 19 years and potentially cause him to lose all this money in the NBA Finals, which he was probably going to ref and officiate. And you just, for what? And then you're going to go and say, oh, Twitter should not be this vindictive. Your, it was your bro, it was perceived as your brother's burner account, which he is a NBA ref. Of course the red Twitter space is going to be vindictive and go after it. There's already a world of stuff about Eric Lewis and him being biased and people talking about how there's things, like there's literal videos of people breaking down all of just the terrible and what looked to be bias calls like he's got money on the game, right? Like you, you know what comes with being an NBA ref. Your brother is a ref and you wanted to create this account to what? To do what? Right? Like what you thought, you thought because you had this like burner account that no one would know, like it's Twitter. Like 90% of Twitter are a bunch of people that have nothing better to do than expose this kind of stuff. Like that's what they live for. And so now you just put your brother in this just whirlwind for what? For what? And look, this could very well be Eric Lewis throwing his brother under the bus and being like, hey, bro, I need you to take one for the team because if this gets found out that it's me, I'm in trouble. I could lose my career. I could lose my job. Or if it is his brother, like, what are you going to do? You know, like, like, it's not me. Like, I can't control, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm telling my brother, like, I can tell him not to do the account, but he's a grown-ass man, you know? Like, what what am I supposed to do type thing? It's just, it's just funny that this has to be a real thing. Like, you know, it just, when are people going to learn? You know, if you're going to talk your talk, just create an account, talk your talk. The, the problem is, is that it just, the reason that this becomes really iffy is because, it makes more sense that it would be Eric Lewis than his brother. Because again, if it's your brother, why create why create this burner account? Right? Like why not just either I don't I don't know if he has one already or not, but like if you have a Twitter account, why not just use your Twitter account to go and defend your brother and talk and say the same things and do the same things, right? Like it doesn't it, it doesn't matter. It, it just you, cuz you're not Eric Lewis. But you know who would create a burner account to be able to talk back and clap back and do all that stuff? Eric Lewis. <laughs> you know, like, that's that's the difference here. It's like, the, yeah, the, the guy that makes the most sense to have this burner account would be Eric Lewis. Not his brother, because his brother could just have his own thing and do his own thing and talk his own talk. Now, maybe you could argue, you know, well, I didn't want people to make the connection, you know, like I didn't want to say stuff. I wanted to be able to say stuff freely and people not, and then not fall back on Eric Lewis or, you know, people connect Eric Lewis to me because whatever. But again, like you, you made this account, like it wasn't like it was an account that you made to clap back and do a bunch of stuff to like all these other people. It was strictly, <laughs> strictly to respond to comments about Eric Lewis. Like it just, that's the difference. Like, if you would have went after, you know, made comments about people talking about Peter Pan or something like that, I don't know, whatever, right? If you made comments talking about other stuff or other sports or whatever, and it wasn't just Eric Lewis, but you were clapping at Eric Lewis and stuff too, then okay, cool, right? Like people probably wouldn't have picked, put two and two together, but when you create an account and literally the only thing that you're doing is clapping back at people over Eric Lewis, it's like, well clearly that's what this is. This is a burner account. So it's either Eric Lewis, it's either a fan of his, but who's a fan of an NBA ref? 
And unless, uh, again, yeah, unless you're Celtics fan, but, <laughs> um, you know, it just common sense tells you, okay, this has to be Eric Lewis, right? And maybe it is his brother. Maybe it really is. But it's just, this is, <laughs> this is a bad look. And I'm, uh, I'm very curious to see how this all plays out. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Think it's Eric Lewis? Do you think it's really his brother? Uh, do you think it's, uh, do you think this requires some immediate action? Do you think, no, it's something lighthearted? He wasn't talking about betting or anything like that. Like, you know, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. Let me know.